Crazy Aunt Lindsay, and you are in the Fab Lab. I am in the Fab Lab today with my Fab Lab professors. Annie. Tell them. Atlin. And? Atlin. Tell them. Tell them. <laughs> and today we have a super duper quick one. So on August 21st, a very special thing is going to happen in our solar system and galaxy. There is going to be a total solar eclipse for the first time in like 20 something years. I'm very excited. Are you guys excited about it? Yeah. What do you guys know about solar eclipses? Uh, where the moon blocks the sun? Yes, that is absolutely correct. It Blocks the sun. That is totally true. A solar eclipse is when the moon blocks the sun. Let's go outside and talk about why that happens. Now the sun, moon, and the earth are the stars of our solar system. Well, actually there's only one star in our solar system and that is the sun. The sun is the largest and the only star in our solar system. Now, I like to think of the solar system as um, like a party and people like to do what at parties? Dance, right? Except for the sun. The sun is like, nah, I'm just a little too cool for that. The earth on the other hand is like, someone please dance with me. Its dancing partner is the moon. So the earth takes its time and it takes a little party around the sun. The moon takes its time and has a little party around us. Now, if you really wanna take it to the next level, think about music. Music is the reason why our body likes to move and dance and have a little fun. Well, that's kind of the way gravity works. Gravity is the reason why the moon goes around us and we go around the sun. Now, Earth is a little bit too cool for school, so it has a little lean a five degree lean to be exact, that is called Earth's tilt. Now Earth's tilt is the reason why we have things like seasons. And then its position to the sun is the reason why we see changes at night known as moon phases. Now that tilt is also responsible for a little extra special something that happens in the sky once every 26 years or so. A total, a total solar, solar eclipse. Solar eclipse. Oh. Now, because of the way that the sun the moon and the earth are dancing, every now and then the moon gets in the way of the sun in the daytime. Now when it gets in the way, the rest of us can't see it. That is called a solar eclipse. It's happening on August 21st, and now you know why. To celebrate this very awesome and amazing once in a lifetime for some people occurrence, I have designed a very special Fab Lab nail art project. We are going to do the Fab Lab solar eclipse nail art project. Are you guys ready? Yes. For this project, all you need is nail polish and a nail file if you really want to get fancy and paper towels just to make sure that your table stays clean. You ready? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. okay, so we have all of our nail polish. You need to start with black nail polish. We'll need white nail polish for our stars, um, blue for our earth, and then like something orange, um, like orangey, a corally color, a yellow color. For uh, the sun? for the sun, that's exactly right. So um, we're gonna start by painting our nails black. Okay guys, so like I said, this project is super quick. If you blink, you just might miss it. So all we're doing right now is painting Atlin's nails black. Uh, no need to be perfect with this part. If you make any mistakes like we did, you can always go back and clean it up with a little bit of nail polish remover later. The next thing you're gonna do is take your blue nail polish and draw little uh, triangles in the upper left hand corner uh, of two fingers that are close together. This is your earth moving into the scene. The next thing you're gonna do is take some orange nail polish and a fine tip uh, paintbrush if you have one handy. A toothpick works great and outline a circle on the nail that's nearby. Uh, your two triangles. This is the outline of your sun that's about to be eclipsed by the moon. The next thing you're going to do is take some white nail polish and another toothpick and you're going to make polka dots all over your nails. This part is super fun. Uh, so just polka dot, polka dot everywhere. Uh, the next thing you're going to do, oh, is take a little bit of that white on the polka dot and even go over your uh, blue nail polish, your earth, to make your earth look earthier um, by adding a couple of clouds uh, to that. And then the final thing you're going to do, or the almost final thing you're going to do, 
do is add some black to the center of your outlined sun. That black is your moon eclipsing the sun. Uh, and then you're going to go over everything with some clear top coat and you're done. I don't have great close-ups. Sorry about that, guys, but I did link to a diagram on the fablab.com of exactly where you should place everything. Uh, so make sure you check that out if you plan on doing this project. And as I always say, it doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be fabulous. Alrighty, there you have it, the Solar Nail Art Project. This one is super fun, super fast, and all about celebrating the total solar eclipse that's happening on August 21st. If you like this project, please give this project a thumbs up and share it with all of your friends. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter where I will be live tweeting my solar eclipse experience. And not only that, I have compiled some of my favorite DIYs for eye protectors and other fun things that will help you get ready for the big day in a solar eclipse playlist on my channel. And it's very important you do not like a direct light at the sun, even if it's solar eclipse. <laughs> that is correct. It is a solar eclipse, but it's still the sun, and you will permanently damage your eyeballs if you look directly at the sun at any time. So make sure you're being super, super careful. Thank you so much for joining me for this very special episode of the Fab Lab. It was so good to see you guys. I will see you very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you.